from our match video. If you didn't watch that, pause this right now and go watch go it. Go watch it. It was really, really funny. So today, we were hanging out and we thought, well she thought it was her idea. It was my idea. That we should do a <laughs> baking video because I've never done one because my kitchen is about the size of this island. We're going to cook a blueberry crumble with peaches. Peaches in it. So, oh, and blueberries. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen me post pictures of my blueberry crumble. I make it all the time. So hopefully you stick around and watch us attempt to make this and um, how it comes out in the end. So why don't we start with the ingredients? Yes, we're going to start with so the ingredients. What do we have here? So, the, for the fruit, we will need two containers of blueberries. Washed. Yes. Well, not with soap. Rinsed. Rinsed. <laughs> and, and you also need peaches or whatever, really, you could add more fruit than, you know, you could add really whatever fruit you want to add. Then you're going to have to have sugar, because what dessert is a dessert without sugar? Two tablespoons. What about brown sugar? And then for brown sugar, you will need one and a half cups of light brown sugar. And then you will also need two cups of flour. Also two cups of old-fashioned oats. So those are the oats that look like little oaty little pieces. Also a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of nutmeg, which we don't have, so we're just gonna forget about it. It's only a half teaspoon, can't be that much of a big issue. And the most healthy part of the recipe, two sticks of butter. We're gonna be Paula Dean for the day. <laughs> okay. First thing you gotta do is rinse your fruit. We rinse the blueberries, but now we're gonna cut up the peaches and then you add all the sugar into the bowl with the fruit while you're making everything else so that the juice can kind of like absorb the sugar. This is like a my drunk kitchen only we're not drunk. This is us sober. This is my first more. time actually trying. Oh, oh this is so exciting. <laughs> I'm de-virgining you. So we're done cutting up the peaches. So the next step is to add the sugar to this. One. And you're gonna mix it all up so that it really coats everything. You can always add more if you're yeah. really. I mean, I like we have extra we fruit. We definitely do have extra fruit so we could add some more sugar because Sugar never killed anyone. <laughs> That's a lie. Now we're gonna preheat the oven at 350 degrees. It is preheating. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm gonna eat and not yet, and I'm burping. Next after that is mix the flour, the oats, brown sugar, the cinnamon, and the nutmeg together. and put it in there and mix it, that will make your arm hurt so bad unless you're a man who has very big muscles, even if you are. So we let the butter sit out for a while so it can get nice and soft. I usually microwave it if it's fresh out of the refrigerator just to get it a little bit soft because even though the crumble won't be as crumbly because of that, your arm will thank you in the morning. If you want to cut them into just like slices into cubes or whatever's easier and this is nice and soft but not melted. If you melt it all the way, the crumble won't even be crumble. Mix butter with everything until it looks like a nice crumble. Once everything's coated with butter, you know. It's all set. <laughs> I can't mix all of these at the same time! This is what the crumble should look like. But it should look like nice and crumbly where the butter really got it all in the sugar. Press half the crumble into this pan. push it all down so it's like condensed and you want to make sure it's tightly packed because you don't want the juice to seep into the bottom and then after you push it all into the bottom you're gonna to want to add the fruit Ooh. look at that oh yeah but even it all out crumble and pour it on top and completely cover it just so that you can see the outside a little bit so that when it's in the oven you'll know once the fruit is being really well cooked. You don't really want to mix the crumble in, just top it so it's like layers. The fruit lasagna. 
Yeah, like a fruit lasagna. <laughs> like a dessert, a lasagna for dessert. So that's what it should look like before you put it in the oven. Bake for 30 minutes, or sometimes I go over that. You wanna make it so that the top is golden brown, we'll show you when it's done, and that the fruit is bubbling out of the sides. Okay, so it's now in the oven, and then we'll show you when it's done. Anything with this much sugar and butter in it is always good. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys right, in about half an hour. Yeah. It's finally done. It took a while for it to cook as much as we wanted to. I think we added a lot of fruit. It's delicious. As you guys can see in the close-up I just did. Oh my god, it looks so good! I'm thinking it's gonna be delicious. And the verdict is... Oh my god, oh my god it's so good. Guys, you have to make this, it's so easy. It's so good. Like, I could eat this whole thing. Let's. And then I die, but it would be delicious. <laughs> this is like you can tell this is not healthy, but it does have the fruit. Thank you so much, Leah, for being here and making this while I watched and filmed. Thank you for hosting this amazing baking episode. Let us know if you like the baking videos because this is my first one. I think she should do more. I had a good time, and baking is delicious, and this is just an excuse to eat more unhealthy food. But yeah, let us know if you make this and if you like it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you want Leah and more videos with me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see all my videos and you never ever ever miss them because I would love you forever for it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. See you next time. Why does it look like we're moving like all weird? Like, do you see that? It looks like really like. Ready? No. You're such a smart person. That's why I can edit this out because I go. Hello. Hello. Which is nice. Not even <laughs> close. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, you got all out of the water. That's kind of perverted. Like soften your butter. It's also a good way to get your frustrations out. <laughs> Do you know what that show, what that, what, that's, the, what? Woo, that was loud. <laughs> it looks so big compared to me. I know.